Ni hao woman the pongyo. Today we're gonna talk about the bread you can find in Taiwan. So you have two kind of bread. You have the bakery bakery. You have like Western bread, and then you have the cafe bakery, the one you find in Taiwan a bit everywhere, like donut for example. So today I've been to donut to bought some uh, bread. So first we have this one. It's a kind of weird sort of bread. I'm not sponsored by donut, so I can't say donut is not good. Uh, I can't say donut the bread is not good. Wow. The fact is some are good, some are high how. But today I'm gonna show you some uh one, two, three, four, five, six kind of breads, six or seven kind of breads I bought to uh donut to try. So we have this one which is a uh, uh, a little soft bread. We have uh, like a brioche, this kind of uh, um, soft bread. Huh? Uh, we have some uh, like a kind of baguette, but it's like with cheese inside. I don't know, I'm not sure of it. Soft texture as well. A little croissant bread. This one inside, it's like uh, um, meat shredded meat inside i don't know how to call that one that one is uh, a, a long one very small it's kind of jam inside with butter so i don't know it's uh but all of them are so soft i don't know why taiwanese uh are like so first of all we're gonna try they look pretty good actually Smell good, smell like a, a little bit jam on the top. I don't know what, what they put, like sugar soft. Actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's, um, on the top is like sugar. Um, they add some little bit of sugar on the top. Actually, it's pretty good. The croissant is pretty good. Not similar about what you can find in Western, because um, in Western, they're more like mm, fluffy inside. This one is more like, um, a lot of layer like millefeuille and soft still soft but this one is pretty good uh, so the next bread we're gonna try is uh like a shredded bread it's like uh inside here it's like uh, a meat so let's see mm. so inside here it's very very thin very very thin very very thin it's it's a weird feeling it's not bad it's not bad it's a, a pretty funny taste so the next one we've got is these little fellows here it's, it's greasy and oily on the top that's what you can see is grease or oil i don't know what's that smell good i would say that is way more for kids yeah because yeah brioche uh, it's like brioche like very soft bread very very soft not bad not bad the next one is a kind of uh, another it looks like baguette it looks like baguette but it's very soft and uh, it looks like very oily or very greasy inside oh the bread is is cut like this It's like uh, um, also cream and tastes like um, at the beginning sweet and after you have the sour taste. And now the one but not least long bread French baguette still from donut you know, right. Day two, day three, day four. One eternity later. It's not bad, but the bread soft like this. It's like the bread is not cooked. So it's uh, it's a bit weird taste, weird feeling. In Taiwan, they have uh, uh, drinks as well, kind of drinks you can't find everywhere. 
apple soda. Yeah, that's uh, like this. Actually, it's not that bad. It's very, very sweet. It's like um, Coke, but with a lot of sugar and uh, taste apple. But it's not bad though. When it's, I think when you're thirsty, it's not, it's not that bad. Yeah, not that bad. The next one is like, I don't know. Uh, I think it's like orange juice. Orange juice, maybe with vitamin B, C and A. Uh, sparkling too. The color inside is like yellow, like very clear. I can't see from uh, the opening inside. Oh yeah, this one is way much chemical taste. It's like drinking a, a, a tube or a tablet of um, vitamin C. That's why it tastes with sparkling water inside and sweet, very sweet. Yeah, totally that. I, I'm, I'm guessing with that after you don't take a nap. So the last one is... Hey Song Sarsaprilla. I don't know if it's correct. Like that is what it says on a on a can here. So I'm guessing it's like uh Coke. Like Taiwanese Coke. Smell same size the can. Looks like very sweet as well. Oh it smell like like Chinese medicine. I know a lot of you never smell Chinese or take Chinese medicine, but if you have been in Asia and you try Chinese medicine once, you know the taste and that's the smell, the taste. It don't smell like Coke at all. I mean, we made a huge mistake. Oh, that's horrible. That that's horrible. I don't know. The color is like a. a, a I don't know if you can see it clear. Yeah, I don't want to spill. It's like a, a a clear coke. But oh, oh. ah, <coughs> but the taste is horrible. Taste is horrible. How people can drink that? Oh, I thought in the shop when I, I see that, I thought oh, it's gonna be a Coke, a kind of Coke, but it's not. It's like. Oh, the smell, the smell is exactly the same as the taste. I know you can't taste it and smell it, but. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. This one, I am not gonna finish it for sure. Oh. Oh damn! Oh, this one that is horrible. Simply horrible. I, I try some some stuff horrible here, but that one. If one day you go in Taiwan, think about me. Buy this one, try it, and you're gonna see. Taste this. I don't know what. Why I keep smelling that? I don't know. Give me some vitamin. Uh, I still have a taste in the mouth. Can I finish the croissant? Uh, I still have a taste in the mouth. Oh, some apple. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Next time will be uh, not for sure that kind of drink, that's for sure. Uh, maybe not bread as well, because bread is bread. Uh, so we will see you in the next time and chill out. Bye bye.